Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies. We're working with Miss Persisting Priscilla. Persisting Priscilla is being, being inspired today and not giving up on her drawing by James Van Der Zee. James Van Der Zee was an American photographer who lived in the 1930s and took beautiful photographs of vintage cars and uh, portraits of Harlem life in the 1930s. So we're going to be inspired by him. In today's drawing we are going to do a cityscape. We're going to be doing the buildings in the background. So cityscape with James Van Der Zee. We're going to start by creating a horizontal line towards the bottom of the paper. A horizontal line is going to split our sidewalk from our buildings. So right down here, right across the bottom of the page, we're going to make a horizon line. We're then going to start building the buildings and we're going to make three vertical lines. Vertical lines are lines that go straight up and down. Three of them. One, two, and three. Doesn't matter what you do, you can make your piece any way you like. I'm now going to add some geometric shapes for my windows, my doorways, even my sidewalk, and my um, steps going up into my different buildings. So for this one, I'm going to make a large step, nice long skinny rectangle, another one a little smaller on top, and then another one, and then I'm going to create the doorway. So my doorway is going to be like a big old arch. And inside my doorway, I'm going to do a rectangle. I'm going to do a line in between for the two doors. I'm going to make it appear like there's two windows up here. The half circle, a line in between there, another line, and I'm going to color this in. I'm going to try to create contrast because this picture is just going to be done with a black broad tip and thin point sharpie. I'm going to try to add some texture to my doorway, make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to make a nice horizontal line across here. A lot of buildings had beautiful decorations on them. So I'm just going to have some fun and try to make my Harlem. Some windows up top here. I'm going to follow that same design and that same shape here. going to do a follow the leader line or an echo line. This is going to be my window, my window sill. All those cute little details is what makes pictures interesting. I'm going to draw the window panes. Maybe sitting in my window is a little kitty cat. A little silhouette. So the next one, hmm, I think I'm going to make some windows down here first. Maybe this is an extension of another building. Make some of my lines a little thicker, creates that contrast. 
use that thinner marker for the window panes. Think of what kind of buildings you would see in the city. What kind of windows would you see? Lots of geometric shapes, that's for sure. There's a big window in the middle. Some lines to show the window. Again, I think I'll make some of these lines a little bit thicker. Show that contrast, make things a little bit more interesting. Fix any mistakes I made. It's another building. Maybe with this one, I could show the texture of the bricks, some horizontal lines. Here, draw another window. Repeat those same designs down on the bottom. So James van der Zee lived in the 30s, came to Harlem with his father and his brother in 1906. He worked as a waiter, and he also worked as an elevator operator. Until about 1915, I believe, he moved to New York City. I mean, sorry, Newark, New Jersey. And he worked in his photo studio. And at that photo studio, he'd had several different types of jobs. He worked there for about a year. And then he moved back to Harlem and opened his own studio where he took photographs of some nice, beautiful vintage cars, also photographs of people, famous people, took their portraits. The little mail slot in the door. It's the little details in your picture that matters. Nothing too difficult, just very simple geometric shapes. Maybe a different type of window for each area. about the top. And again, you can do some little lines here for the glare, maybe the sun shining in the windows. Again, you can add a little cat or a dog, maybe someone sitting in the window, <laughs> whatever you want. Maybe this bricks are a little skinnier on this house. Some nice horizontal lines, lines going straight side to side. And we'll add some vertical lines in there. Finish this one off too. do all of them. Totally up to you. 
So there's one more building done. Now I got one one. Maybe this is going to be like a storefront. So this last building is going to be kind of like half on, half off. Maybe it's a storefront. So I'm going to start with an arch and then come down. So half of my doorway is on the other side. Make these into windows looking into the store. Be a nice glass door. Put a nice design up here at the top of the window. These windows are half open. Color that in black. Make that windowsill again. Maybe you have a curtain coming down. Another window up top. Repeat. Maybe I could eh, just draw some s simple vertical lines here for the texture of the building. Could draw some diagonal lines for maybe the sidewalk. So voila, there's my cityscape. And I tried to use some thick lines and some thin lines to show some contrast in my cityscape. And now, taking that cutout car that I made before and gluing that down here at the bottom, and voila, I have my James Van Der Zee photo from the 1930s. Hope you had fun. Thanks for joining me.